guys and welcome to your favorite fashion, beauty and lifestyle news show. My name is Valerie and as usual, I'll be taking you on everything that's trending in fashion, beauty and lifestyle. First up, find out what new charges are being filed against Kevin Spacey. Next up on today's episode, find out why Elon Musk had to step down as chairman of Tesla Inc. Also on today's episode, find out why Lindsay Lohan might have been slapped by a homeless woman. Also find out which of your favorite celebrities we're seeing at the Global Citizen Festival and last but definitely not the least, find out why Serena Williams had to strip. All this and so much more on this brand new episode of 360 Daily. Kicking off the show with what's trending, French luxury fashion house Hermes has launched a spring summer 2019 collection. The luxury house fuels its history as a saddler with the world of maritime adventures, creating a sporty graphic wardrobe for lovers of nature and the great outdoors. Where a leather saddle was transformed into the collar of a large white t-shirt and a groom's apron metamorphed into a black summer dress. The palette focused on natural shades of desert, sand, off-white, sienna and slate. This collection punctuated with intense flashes of red, orange and turquoise, the Parisian label offered up one of the most beautiful shows of the weekend on Saturday, presenting a magical pageant blending a futuristic concept with a celebration of the house's heritage. Next up on what's trending, Serena Williams strips for the I Touch Myself campaign. Now for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is October, Serena Williams is participating in I Touch Myself Project, which was inspired by the late singer Chrissy Amphlett. She passed away in 2013 from breast cancer. Serena Williams posted on Instagram with the caption, This Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I've recorded a version of the Deville's global hit, I Touch Myself, to remind women to self-check regularly. Yes, this put me out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to do it because it's an issue that affects all women of all colors and all around the world too. She went on to say that early detection is key and it saves so many lives. I just hope this helps to remind women of that. Next up on what's trending right here on the show, Eddie Murphy and his girlfriend Paige Butcher are engaged. Now, it might have taken 10 children to get him to square up, but Eddie Murphy might be getting married to his pregnant partner, Paige Butcher. Butcher has sparked rumors of engagement when she wore a large diamond ring on her left hand while shopping in Los Angeles on Monday, September 24th. According to People Magazine, a friend of Murphy confirmed that the couple are getting married. Now, the couple have been dating since 2012 and are expecting their second child, which will be Murphy's 10th child. Now, I don't know what to say about this whole Eddie Murphy and Paige Butcher situation, but I really do wish them a happy union. First off in sported celebrities we're seeing at the 2018 Global Citizen Festival that happened in New York. Now, the 2018 Global Citizen Festival held during the weekend at the Great Lawn in Central Park in New York City. The event was filled with your favorite celebrities across the continent, and they all looked amazing in their own individual ways. First off, we're going to take a look at South African media personality Bonang Mateba. The beauty came through in a casual look for the event. She wore a red monochrome leather jacket matching crop top and topped it off with a matching cap. She complemented the look with a simple blue denim and red sandals. Next up, we also have another South African beauty, Pearl Thusi. Media girl looked chic in a cute denim bump shirt and a white silk camisole. She paired it with a black fur jacket. Next up, we have Amina Mohamed, who is the Deputy Secretary General of the UN. She looks pretty as ever in a patterned kaftan and complemented the look with a blue veil. Next up, on some of your favorite celebrities we spotted, we have Lola Ogunaike. She wore a sky blue shirt dress and paired the looks with white Nike sneakers. And last but definitely not least, on this spotted segment, we have Forrest Whitaker. And he looked dapper in an all black casual ensemble. First off in beauty, Elizabeth Arden has partnered with James Goldcrown for the 88th anniversary. Now, Elizabeth Arden's cult 8-hour cream celebrates its 88th anniversary this year with an arty collaboration. The beauty brand has signed up with James Goldcrown, the artist behind the famous Love Wall mural, to revisit the packaging of its legendary cream. For the occasion, the street artist James Goldcrown has revisited the cult product's packaging with his now signature hearts made famous by his Instagram-friendly Love Wall mural. The result is a colorful and uplifting anniversary line billed as offering an unripe message of love and healing. 
nodding towards the famous balm soothing formula. The Love Heals by 8 Hour Collection is a limited edition drop comprising of the brand's 8 Hour Cream Skin Protectant for skin, lips and hair. The 8 Hour Cream Lip Protectant Stick with SPF 15 Sun Protection. Next up in beauty, Huda Beauty appoints a new North American president. Huda Beauty has named Natalie Cristo as the cosmetics company new North American president effective October 1st, which was yesterday. As president, Cristo will manage the Dubai-based company's overall vision and strategic leadership in the North American market, expanding the company's global presence through applied digital strategy. Prior to joining Huda, Cristo served as a global brand president for fellow cosmetics company NYX and previously held multiple executive positions with the brand's parent company, L'Oreal. In addition to this update to the company's senior leadership roster, Huda Beauty named Helena Sampson as their new European president in July, where she manages the brand's presence in both the UK and Europe. Next up in beauty, Fenty Beauty unveils new shades of stunner lip paint. Fenty Beauty introduces new lipstick shades for a stunner lip paint line. The matte color promises intense pigment and long-lasting color. Fenty Beauty creator Rihanna joins Ajak Deng for campaign images spotlighting three nude shades. Choose from Peachy Unbutton, Dark Mauve Uncuffed, and Chocolate Brown Unveil. I'm super excited for this brand new Fenty Beauty lip paint and I'm definitely going to get the uncuffed. Next up, our social media star of the day is Kitana. Kitana is a Nigerian YouTube beauty guru who is widely known for her Kitana EXO channel content. She has gained popularity there for her hairstyling tutorials, makeup DIY projects, and fashion advice. Her bold hairstyles have gained her popularity on the online world and due to high demand, she has branched out into designing her own line of wigs. With her pretty face, fabulous personal style, and endearing personality, the famous blogger has over 250,000 subscribers on YouTube. She also has earned over 400,000 followers to her beauty and fashion blog. First off in editorials, Tony Gaunt graces the pages of Elle Germany's September 2018 issue. After appearing on the cover, the blonde model stars in an editorial focusing on outerwear styles. Photographed by Lucien Ball, Tony embraces checkered and plaid prints while posing outdoors. Stylist Astrid Dahl dresses the German beauty in designs from labels like Jill Sander, Dolce & Gabbana, and Stella McCartney. Next up in editorials, La Mode magazine channels inclusiveness with Beyond Disability issue. La Mode magazine's latest issue celebrates women, beauty, brains, and inclusiveness all wrapped into one with a green, white, green ribbon on it. On air personality Adenike Oyetunde and her co cover stars Sharon Okotie and Olivia Malaki are all smiles on the latest print edition of La Mode magazine. Aptly titled Beyond Disabilities, the October edition of the magazine takes us through the lives of differently abled people in Nigeria. This is ahead of their Green October event set up to end stigma against differently abled people. Next up in editorials, Grace Hartzell strikes a pose on the September 2018 cover of Vogue Turkey. In front of the lens of Emery Govern, the brunette beauty wears a Louis Vuitton jacket, top, skirt, and shoes. For the accompanying spread, Grace embraces retro-inspired fashions through modern lens. Stylist Naz Bilady dresses the American model in designs from the likes of Dres Von Norton, Fendi, and Prada. Next up in editorials, Lara Stone is the cover girl for the September 2018 edition of Elle France. Lensed by Matt Easton, the Dutch beauty wears a majestic filature sweater, Tiffany & Co necklace, as well as Isabel Marant boots. For the accompanying spread, Lara embraces weekend style. The blonde beauty lounges in sun-drenched shorts, wearing lightweight knits and casual tees styled by Melanie Hume. First off, on The Daily Dish, Elon Musk steps down as Tesla Inc. chairman. Now, Elon Musk has had probably the most controversial year ever, and his latest dip in hot water might have cost him his position as chairman of Tesla Inc. Now, he has stepped down as the chairman following a tweet where he claimed he has the funding and investor support to buy publicly traded companies. Earlier this year, he criticized Wall Street analysts for asking bonehead questions about the company's finances. 
he also made headlines again after he labeled a British diver who aided in the cave rescue of the Thai soccer players a pedophile. And after apologizing, he then doubled down on his accusation again in emails. Elon Musk's funding secure claims also resulted in action from the Securities and Exchange Commission, which filed a case seeking to oust Mr. Musk as CEO in a complaint that he committed securities fraud with false statements about plans to take the company private, claiming he wasn't even close to locking up the money and based the price at the slang reference to marijuana for 22 to amuse his girlfriend. The Securities and Exchange Commission sued the billionaire and all parties reached an agreement. According to the Times, in the agreement, Musk will resign as chairman or will remain CEO and also a member of the board. He will also not be eligible to be elected into the chairman position for three years. Furthermore, Tesla must hire an independent chairman to oversee the company. And to top it all off, Musk and Tesla were also fined $20 million each. Every time there's been stories or news about Elon Musk this year, it has been negative and he has really, really had a really controversial year. I hope this $20 million fine will shut him up and let him only speak when he really needs to because I feel like it's his mouth that gets him into trouble and nothing else. Next up on the Daily Dish, Lindsay Lohan accuses a homeless family of child trafficking. Now, Lindsay Lohan is back in the news and this time it is with more controversy as usual. The actress shocked fans after she appeared to be accusing a homeless family of being child traffickers in a video on her Instagram Live. The actress had been riding in a car in what TMZ has said is Moscow and she spotted a homeless family by the roadside. Lohan approached the family which she identifies as Syrian refugees, seemingly trying to help and offers to have their kids come watch on the television or computer. After Lohan becomes increasingly hostile, the family begins to leave. Lohan told the mother, you should be a hardworking woman and you should be doing what you can for your children so that they can have a better life. The actress went on to follow them and kept speaking to her Instagram live video saying that the parents were child trafficking and continuing by telling the family that they were ruining Arab culture. As she continued to follow the family, the mother seemingly turned back towards Lohan and a gasp was heard. The camera shook and the next thing we see is Lizzie Lohan crying. Now she's also grabbing the side of her face in the video and she's saying that she was slapped by the woman. Now when all of this happened, Twitter users soon began to criticize the actress for what some described as a white savior complex. Now to be honest, I think Lizzie Lohan was a bit out of order with this one because I don't know why you see an obvious homeless family on the road and decide to just tag them as child traffickers. To be honest, I think the woman didn't slap her early enough because I watched that video and I was so uncomfortable. Also, what's up with Lizzie Lohan's accent? It's like, whenever she's in any setting scenario, she gets an accent to suit that scenario. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Lizzie Lohan is like Elon Musk, always in the news for something controversial. Next up on The Daily Dish, Ed Musso has sued Kevin Spacey for sexual battery. Now, Kevin Spacey might be in more trouble as a new lawsuit seems to have been filed against him by a masseur. A masseur has filed a lawsuit against actor Kevin Spacey, claiming he forced him to rub his testicles at a home in Malibu in October 2016. Now, TMZ is reporting that the man who did not reveal his identity is suing Spacey for sexual battery, battery assault, and false imprisonment. The man said he was contracted by a third party to go and meet Spacey according to court documents seen by TMZ. He also added that he told Spacey to lay face down, but Spacey laid face up. He added that Spacey then told him he's having pains in his groin area. He then grabbed his hand and put it on his testicles. The Masseur went on to say that Kevin Spacey complimented him saying he has such beautiful eyes after he stood up and told and tried to pull away. Now, according to TMZ, the Masseur says he continued to back away, but Spacey grabbed his genitals and said something to the effect of, just give me a, I don't even think I'm allowed to say that on camera. The man later fled the house. Now, Spacey is being investigated for multiple reports of sexual assaults in the US and England. Now, I think it's so unfortunate that Kevin Spacey is this literally, literally this kind of person. It's so unfortunate that um, he will now want to probably use the excuse of him being gay to now say that that's why he has assaulted men because he has used that as an excuse in the past when he was accused of assaulting Anthony Rapp. I don't know what else to say about Kevin Spacey, but 
it's so unfortunate that some of our faves, in quotes, are actually doing the most ridiculous and wicked things behind closed doors. Now, still speaking of our faves doing ridiculous things behind closed doors, Ronaldo has been accused of rape. Footballer Cristiano Ronaldo is being sued by an American woman, Catherine Mayoga, after an alleged rape. Deadspin reports that Ronaldo had in 2010 signed an out of court settlement with Mayoga, who was then anonymous and had accused him of raping her in a Las Vegas hotel room. According to a German magazine, Der Spiegel Mayoga has, however, come forward and revealed her identity, while also recounting the full story of her encounter with the footballer. She was a 25-year-old model at the time, but Mayoga, who now works as a teacher, has also filed a new civil lawsuit against Ronaldo in court, seeking to have the settlement agreement voided. Although Ronaldo's lawyers in a statement to Reuters have described the report as blatantly illegal, a questionnaire answered by Ronaldo before the settlement has him appear to admit that Mayaga did not consent to their sex that night. The document answers from Ronaldo that read, she said no and stopped several times. She said she didn't want to, but she made herself available, but she kept saying, no, don't do it. I'm not like the others. And then he went on to say, I apologize afterwards. Now, I think this is the most ridiculous story ever because I don't know how he's admitting to it and then somebody is saying whatever it is that they're saying. I think people in celebrities and people in position of power should stop abusing their power and stop doing weird things. If someone tells you no, no means no. It's so unfortunate that you have to imagine a scenario where you're being accosted. You have to paint a picture where the average man is being assaulted by another man before they understand that when you say no, you necessarily mean no. It's 2018, everybody needs to do better. Next up on The Daily Dish, Cardi B arrested after a strip club fight. American rapper Cardi B has turned herself into the police on Monday, October 1st in connection to a fight that went down at a strip club in Queens, New York. Now, according to TMZ, Cardi will be ordered to appear in court to speak on her involvement in the incident. Sisters Jade and Baddie G claimed that they were attacked on August 29th while working at the strip club Angels because of allegations that either of them had hooked up with Cardi B's husband, Offset. Cardi B was at the strip club because the Migos were performing and came face to face with the two bartenders. She allegedly told her posse to attack with bottles, a hooker device and chairs. The two women were both badly hurt and required medical care. Cardi is likely to be charged with two misdemeanors, reckless endangerment and disorderly conduct and given a summons for a court appearance. So we'll see how this goes, but it doesn't really look good for Cardi B because if she wants to fight everybody that hooks up with offsets, she's going to be in a lot of fights. First off in new collections, Cuban Frenzy by Illy. Inspired by the popular Cuban color Shetstar, Lagos-based menswear brand Illy unveils its resort 2019 collection titled Cuban Frenzy. The brand, which was established in 2016, focuses on individuality, carefully crafting pieces that combine craftsmanship with attitude. The new collection also takes inspiration from the classic safari style look that dated back to many years ago. These looks originated from the fashion era of the 1950s and the 60s, where these looks were very popular among middle-class Nigerian men. It places its focus on the classic charm of the stylish modern Nigerian man who lives for lifestyle, going on holidays and relaxing. Ili chose simple cuts, pastel colors, white and soft greens. Next up in new collections, an alien in Africa by Tokyo James. Menswear brand designer Tokyo James has released the lookbook for its spring summer 2019 collection, which debuted at South African Menswear Week earlier in the year. In this interview with Elle, the Nigerian-born designer shared that reuniting with his father and exploring his wardrobe are the main is the inspiration behind this collection and Alien in Africa. One of the key points of this collection is the infusion of Snake King into the brand pieces. Featuring carrier bags and tote bags emblazoned with the brand's name, dangling tassels also add a little fun to the already one-tone bags. The look was brought to life by Tokyo James himself, who was the creative director of the shoot. Styled by Daniel Simon and photographed by Annika Mona. First off in Spicy or Not, Stella McCartney Double Trouble Runway Show. 
Her latest show was named Double Trouble and its theme was Stella, an English cartoon mischief maker mini the mix on adventure in Paris. The collection with lots of cool clubber, blending a sassy English attitude with a dash of French hauteur. Girls in floral colognes and single combinations or powder blue gym frocks or athletic tops done in a gazebo print, one with managed trousers with plates and belt loops, all marching at a fierce pace. Next up in Spicy or Not, Vivian Westwood's Spring Summer 2018 collection shows in Paris. This season was inspired by the powerful skate girls of Kabul. Photographed by Jessica Full for Dobson, a photo series on the Afghan girls, finding both joy and independence of movement in a country where bike riding is strictly a taboo for women. The collection was filled with different colors of mesh fabric attached to shoes and clothes of the models. It also featured bright colors, dramatic hair, and also ripped clothes. So hit me up on social media, let me know what you think. Is it spicy or is it not? And next up in Spicy or Not, Isimiyaki's Spring Summer 2019 runway has launched. The Japanese brand unveiled Dodo as an innovative new material which looks like it has a promising future in today's constantly changing society. The fabric is made using polythene and is not steam treated, which means that it keeps it all of its flexibility. Contrary to what one might think, this silk effect cotton does not contain any wiring. The collection featured colors that ballooned around models necks, skirt corners and were twisted into spirals. Bows that blossomed on the shoulders, and last but definitely not the least, a bag that was transformed into a tricorn and one on the head. Now, hit me up on social media. People are really doing amazing things in the fashion industry, and Fashion Week has absolutely been amazing. I've been impressed, and so let me know what you think about this collection. Is it spicy or not? <laughs> All right, guys, it's a wrap for this episode of 360 Daily. But don't forget, if you want to keep up with more gist, visit our website at www.myspice.tv or our social media handle, which is Spice TV Africa across all platforms. If you want to keep up with me and my recently very boring Instagram, hit me up. My handle is valerie.ek. Until tomorrow, this has been your favorite fashion, beauty, and lifestyle show, 360 Daily.